Hey everybody, welcome back to the Comic Wall. It's your girl, the Outcast Angel, and today let's talk about issue 10 of Oblivion Song by Robert Kirkman, Lorenzo Di Felici, and Annalisa Leone. As I said in my last video, and you can check it out in uh, which, wherever I put the link, um, I, I'm i back. I'm finally back. I got a new haircut. I got um, some new stuff coming in, and some new changes are going to be going on soon, so hopefully I can get that done. And... Um, I finally reorganized my room a little bit to, um, not be so messy and to, uh, finally be able to, like, showcase my damn comic wall, comic walls, as you'll see. And so, yeah, that's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited to, uh, you know, just get, get this channel really going. Um, and, you know, uh, I'm going to be grinding. I'm going to be getting out. Uh, all the videos that I'm really late on, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just means I have a lot more to talk with y'all about, and, you know, I'm really excited to share it with, with y'all, so, with that being said, let's get started. So, as we saw last time, things got really messed up for Nathan after Ed activated his machine again in the middle of, well, practically in the heart of Philadelphia and <sighs> I was so freaking pissed Ugh. anyway um let me gush about this cover real quick because I mean you guys are gonna see it anyway but ooh, just this one and issue uh, nine's cover uh, these covers are beautiful props to Lorenzo Di Felici and uh, Annalisa Leone, I, at least I, I'm pretty sure she does the co colors on the, on the covers, but you guys are just, be like, a, such a beautiful team, and, um, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll make it a thing like I do with my Wall of Dead, um, yeah, that's why I call it, I never told you guys that, um, that I'll show you guys, um, every time I post these, um, post these up, I've been behind posting them up on, um, on that wall, just because, um, I don't know, just whenever I get home and then make the videos, like, I've been focused so much on the videos, I haven't focused too much on my walls, so I, I like, this one I have to update, and it, it's gonna, it's gonna drop a good amount, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, we saw that, um, things got really messed up, and so we dropped back in, seeing about two blocks of Philadelphia have been tra transferred in into oblivion. I have it never fails with hiccups, man. Anyway, um, yeah, Nathan is, um, like, what have you done? And Ed's like, I've brought more people to a better, saner world, um, so they can be saved as I was saved, brother. This is this isn't a time for anger. Rejoice. This is a time for, and uh, Nathan and. Nathan ends up, well, Nathan and Ed in their car end up getting plowed over by a semi-truck. God bless. Um, and, oh, we see Ed and the device get flung from the car. And the device may have gotten, uh, damaged in that crash. Anyway, Ed seems to have gotten really unwound. I mean, he sounds like a fanatic as we saw in the last uh, video and it's just it's just weird to hear him talking like this like he 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 was wanting to be left back in oblivion uh telling um you know Nathan to leave leave him and the other people that are living there alone because they're content they're fine what is he doing here that these people are fine these people are content for the most part I mean I'm pretty content in my life, but, you know, it's just brutal that, I, I don't know, it's just, you know, there's a, there's a double standard there, you know, anyway, um, uh, we see people freaking out as these creatures start, um, you know, uh, running amok in these two blocks of Philadelphia, and Ed, it, well, Nathan's trying to, like, calm them down saying don't worry some of these are like some like some of these uh he's kicking off these like spider things off 
this one woman, and he's like, they're harmless, really, they don't bite, uh, you're gonna be okay, and that's when he sees the device, and that's when we see Ed here saying, that's it? Can't be more than a couple blocks, and Nathan is freaking out over the the device saying, okay, it's it's fine, I can, I can fix this, but that's when Ed tackles him to the ground, and he's like, I won't let you fix this, um, each, um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking more clearly than ever before, but Nathan doesn't think so. He's saying, each moment that ticks back by, more people are getting hurt. I have to reverse this. Um, but he and he and Nathan are fighting it out, and um, we see dozens of people just running by, and Nathan's telling him to just, like stay indoors, get inside. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. I can bring us all back. And we see Ed running toward him saying, you're not going to, I won't let you do that. But that's when he gets attacked by this new creature, another new creature we see, uh, we haven't seen before. At least I'm pretty sure we haven't seen before. And um, before, and Nathan hesitates. He looks back to try and save him, but he's working on the device. Trying, Obviously he has to fix this now. But um, that's when uh, we switch over to... Um, Ed, who's getting, who's, you know, trying to fend off this creature, and, um, uh, Nathan comes in and stabs the creature, like, um, uh, you know, saving, saving Ed, um, but it, it wasn't enough, because now the creature turned on Nathan, and Ed is the one having to save him, and oof, it just... The way he has to save him by uh, by sticking his ha his whole arm all the way up to the elbow into this creature's eye and pulling it uh, pulling it out it was uh, I don't I don't like it <laughs> anyway um, Ed ends up passing out um, after this and Nathan rushes to him and to the device. And obviously he has his work cut out for him. He has to get this fixed. He needs to fix this right now. And ugh, that this is just brutal. Anyway, we switch back to Earth where all these creatures are running amok um, in, well, in the home dimension. And obviously, well, and then, you know, things are going crazy. Things are getting bad. And so um, we switch to this spread of pages or panels where um we see um like duncan and there's this news broadcast going on saying look on in horror as our worst nightmare becomes a rea reality what you're seeing now is live footage from downtown philadelphia a um appears the transference has happened again something people have long feared could could reoccur despite all its reassurances from our government and i like here we see um the couple that Nathan had first uh, saved in issue one, and they have a little pug right there. It's so cute. Anyway, um, then we jump over to Bridget and her new boy toy. I'm still mad at her. Anyway, um, and it continues saying, much smaller area than before. The hope is it can be contained much faster. Authorities are urging people to stay in their homes no matter how far from the affected area they may be. Uh, and that's when we see this one guy, uh, the one guy that Nathan was talking to in issue, it, <clears throat> excuse me, in issue two, uh, one of his old, um, um, I guess, combat buddies that he, that would go over to Oblivion to try and find people, and, um, well, Marco, that's his name, and Marco's telling his wife, I have to go, okay, no one else knows what they're dealing with, and we jump back to the middle of Philadelphia where it's just total chaos. Like, we see this couple running into the fog, into a, a fog. Why is there fog for some reason, all of a sudden, you know? And, um, yeah, people are, like, it's getting bad. Like, we even see this, um, these two panels where, uh, these, uh, group of, uh, dogs or creature, dog creatures, I don't know what to call them, um, are coming through the fog, the rain, and this line of police, uh, officers are just um, just lighting them up, you know, and uh, we see uh, Heather looking on in the chaos, just saying, 
oh god, what have I done? But then we see this guy um, run after her, and it looks like it's about to get her before someone blows its brains out, and turns out it's um, General... Um, uh, Gen no, Director Ward. And it's a, he's telling uh, Heather, wasn't going to let that thing eat you. That'd be too easy. You're not going to escape justice by dying on me, Heather. I'll make sure you and your boyfriend fry for what you've done. <laughs> really? You're, you're going to... You're, they're going to be in trouble when you're, you were going to use this thing as a weapon? W wait, until, wait until that news gets out. And th that's the end of the issue. And... That happened fast. That felt really fast uh, for an issue. Anyway, um, yeah, things are getting crazy, and I can't wait to see what issue 11 brings, but um, this is, yeah, we're not getting that until next year, which, um, yeah, things are going to get so much crazier, and I'm so excited for it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, Drop a like, show the love, hit that subscribe button to get more of my videos, ring the bell to get notifications on when I post new videos, so that way you guys stay updated and don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!